Um, I think the most pressing thing that I found was the fact that um, the implications of civilians in Sana'a living anywhere close to a, to a military camp are, are forced out of those areas, even if they're living several hundred meters away. Because as soon as a facility or an area starts being bombed, people start to leave. Um, in the case of the focus study um, that I looked at, this was a family that had chosen to stay. Um, and they were literally less than 200 meters from an area that had been targeted before, even though it wasn't actually a military base. Um, and the strike that hit their house then killed family members. Um, and in that area, most of the houses had already been abandoned just because they were within a few hundred meters of what is seen as a, as a legitimate area to strike. And so when you're looking at a densely populated city like that, um, you've got people moving and shifting around the city all of the time, trying to avoid being close to whether it be government buildings, anything that might be conceivably seen as, as a possible target. There's a huge amount of now anti-Saudi sentiment that has grown in Yemen as a result, but it's also an anti-Western perspective as well. Um, certainly the propaganda that is pushed by the Houthis, but also it's not unfounded, is the fact that the West is supporting this war. So you've got American bombs being dropped. You can pick up a remnant from the ground and it says made in the USA on it, or you'll have unexploded ordnance which are the same. They'll say where they're coming from. So people are well aware that both the Americans and the British government are taking part in this conflict. Um, so the longer this goes on, it's hardening more and more people. People that otherwise might have been neutral in this conflict or even may have sided with the coalition. But the more bombing that goes on, the more people that are impacted, the more communities are affected. affected. It's, it's a hardening against Saudi Arabia and against the West in general. Um, I think it's the fact that you've often got families, um, women and children being forced out of their homes because of strikes. Even if their houses aren't being hit directly, uh, you'll often find areas that have been completely deserted except for the men. Single individuals um, will stay behind to look after the houses because they're afraid they'll either get looted um, or taken over and the families and the children will leave and they will go either outside of the city to villages where they've got extended family and so you will literally find areas in the city that are completely deserted um, that have been repeatedly targeted and this has been something the coalition has done a lot they won't just hit an area or, or a site once or twice they will come back again many weeks later or many months later so it is still not safe for those families to return to their homes even once um, a site has been bombed maybe more than 20 times because they know they will come back again at a later stage to bomb that area.